coming up um, on February 17th, there's going to be a meeting, and it's going to be at several locations across Nebraska. One of them will be at the Buffalo County Extension Office. All these meetings start at 9 o'clock, and they're free to the public. It's going to highlight the over 100 projects that were done this last season and on our research, and Laura Thompson is kind of our lead on that. We appreciate her leading the way on that. So as we move forward, what we're looking at is we've got a challenge that we're bringing forward. We call it the 50-50 or 30-30 challenge. What this is, as we look at this next season coming up, North County had done a study with the Ben Grease leading the charge where they did look at nitrogen management and how that would fit in. Uh, the 50 50 is where you put on 50 pounds more, 50 pounds less, or 30 30, 30 pounds more, 30 pounds less, and see what you can see on your farm. Would it make a difference as far as your efficiency? How would that look? So we've been working with the UNL nitrogen calculator. And it's a, a free software. You can go to the soil fertility.unl.edu. You can download it. Uh, what's neat about the software is it does allow you to be able to come in and do what if scenarios. It also allows you to be able to look at not only the cost of the fertilizer, but also the commodity and be able to make some decisions. So I did pull out this is an example uh, from that calculator. And we at the crop production clinics, uh, this was highlighted. Uh, Chuck Burr, who's with us today, he was one of them that helped develop this, along with with uh, Pete Melvin, uh, Layla Tundle. The, the big thing that is here is all both all these things can be adjusted. So uh, if you want to fit in some different prices for what you think the prices of fertilizer are, you can do that. It allows you to be able to put in uh, well, how are you going to apply that fertilizer? So one of the ways we can help on gaining efficiency is we can still put on sometimes the same amount, but if you're able to put it on at different times of the year, it can help you on gaining some efficiency. The example is in the program, it'll give you an opportunity to say, well, if you're going to put it on in the fall, it's probably going to say that you're going to have probably about a 5% loss by putting it on in the fall, where if you switch it over, maybe you say, well, what if I have now switch that and maybe I'm going to be a little more tiny and putting it on as a spoon feeding as a crop of feeding it and you may gain five or ten percent by doing that and putting it on later in the season if you start putting on some of the same amounts what i did though is i put in here we usually say on yield goal we want to be realistic try not to uh, take the highest yield we've ever had and put it up ten percent we usually say we'll go up the five year average and see where you're at so the example Say you have a 230 bushel average, but here, this is a scenario where uh, 30 pounds less, 30 pounds more. So um, in this scenario, say 250 was a yield target of what you were fertilizing for on your farm, but now you're going to say, well, what if I bumped it up 30 pounds, what if I put it 30 pounds less in that 250? So all these are things that you can put in. Uh, what I've done is I did put a 2% organic matter. Uh, it does give you crediting if you use organic matter as one of those inputs. You can also look at maybe you did some soil testing. It does have, have some things it'll default back to, but this is kind of the, the depth of rooting. If you think it would be like 40 to 8 inches where it would go down, and you can just go through it. This is also where we're, I'm getting it as a corn soybean rotation. So if you have a soybean with legume, It'll give you some credit there as far as how much nitrogen we get from the legume. So coming on down, uh, as we look at this, these are the recommendations. So as we look at this example here, uh, the overall nitrogen required to hit that 250 bushel yield goal, the program would say it's going to take 335 pounds of nitrogen. Okay, so if we're going to give for the soy, the, uh, the organic matter credit 70 pounds. Uh, for what was in the soil nitrate, and we do think that's probably the most efficient nitrogen we have now because we've already gone through those losses. Uh, versus if you're going to put on new fertilizer, you're going to lose maybe 40 or 50 percent somewhere in the process before it gets into the plant. Then we're also going to give it a 45 pound crediting for, for the soybeans. And then as the irrigation credit, you're going to get a nine, nine pound irrigation credit. <clears throat> And so, also, this is a, a system I look at the manure management team. And so, what I did is I put it in as if we put 15 tons of manure on. And so, we're going to credit about 81 pounds of nitrogen coming from that manure source. So, when we got down, 
It's saying that after taking all this into account, to get that 250 bushel yield target, we're probably going to have to put on somewhere around 98 pounds of fertilizer again to be able to reach that goal. If we were saying, well, okay, now if I'm going to bump it up and I want to put on an extra 30 pounds, that's where this program is saying, yeah, it's kind of adjusting. It's not exactly uh, right at 30, but it can be somewhere in that ballpark that if you're going to put on less fertilizer, then we're going to have probably less target for yield. So our suggestion is don't get dramatic, even though you may say, well, fertilizer prices are three times higher, so I'm going to cut back on rate. You do not want you to come back in the fall and say, oh my, I didn't have a very good yield, because you will affect yield if you're needing, needing that input. So we're going to say, use this as kind of a tool that you can work through. I just did one scenario here of saying, well, I was just purposely looking at um, the overall yield and saying, well, what if you affected this? But what if you affect something else? There are some things you can adjust. Uh, some of that is on the, the price of the grain. Say that you say, well, I think that I put in $5 a bushel. Maybe you're going to say, I, I think it's going to be six. Maybe it's going to be four. You know, whatever those, those values are you're going to put in, uh, you can put that in. This running it under a $5 scenario on uh, green. This is where it's going to take the recommendation, but then it's also going to take into account the economics. And so if you were to say, well, um, if we think that we're still going to only have, uh, say, $5 a bushel, it's going to say to adjust for the nitrogen price that you may want to cut back a little bit of how much you're putting on uh, to be able to attain that goal. But again, what we're trying to say is we have more information. If you're interested in doing an on-farm study, and it's kind of like you decide, was that the right recommendation or not? Do you agree with, with what we have on the nitrogen calculator? And I'm going to say, why not run, run the scenario on your farm? See how it works. Uh, we have a network of folks, including myself, that can help you where we can, can be able to go through and do some statistical analysis. You will need to have a replication in order for us to be able to, to do a statistical analysis on it. Where we would like to have you have at least three, three uh, uh, times where you're doing it uh, in the field, or would be better. Uh, and just visit with me, and there is some information there. I think the place to start is you can come to that meeting on February 17th, and we'll have free lunch there and start at 9 o'clock, probably done by 2 or 2.30. But it'd be a way for you to get a feel for what the on farm research network is. And again, they'd like to have more information coming from our